Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play! I am your host, Melee Wizard, and the game I'll be doing for you this time is Star Tropics. A Zelda-ish, RPG-ish kind of thing from 1990. So, with well further ado, let's get it started! Chapter 1, Prelude. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island, where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. Yep, came in via helicopter. So I kind of interrupted whatever opening cutscene there was. And here we are in Coral Cola. A very nice place, and it's where your uncle Dr. J lives. And one of the things about this game that I really don't much care for is the fact that in this place, and I think in at least a couple others, where you have to talk to everybody in town before you can progress. Mostly because of this guy right here. And he won't get out of the way until I've basically acquainted myself with the whole friggin' place. So, I figured in the future places where I have to do this, I'll probably just cut to each person individually. If Though I'll see if that's even worth the effort. Uh, solving some strange puzzle, huh? And Americola, huh? Yeah, the cola thing, that's a uh, running trend here. Hey, shooting stars. Okay. Omens of disaster, yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> Miss Coral 1990. Yep, I have not met your chief yet, but I will in a moment. Oh, so he's been telling people about me, huh? And here we have the chief. I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Coral Cola and a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night... Try not to be too upset, but... Your uncle, Dr. Jones has been abducted. Well, great. We must keep this from the islanders so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. Why me? Just because I'm related? I don't know what to do. Can you help? Well, yeah, sure, why not? Good. You're brave. Take this island yo-yo. You may think this yo-yo is just a toy, but it's very powerful. Mike, you're an ace pitcher. Use it. So, you have a weapon, but you're waited for me to show up to use it? Oh, well. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below. Many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you. Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hands. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. And why do I have to... You know, I should stop... ...seeking rational explanations from video games at this point. Ah, yes. Now that I've know everyone, he's friendly this time. And the shaman and sister of the island chief. And if I ever lose all my lives, we'll be seeing her again. Your uncle was abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruins. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your North Star, island sailors look for the Southern Cross. Mike, many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begin the test of island courage. Good luck. And automatic saving, which is always good. And yep, just press A to jump, and B to use whatever weapon you have selected. And I'll get into more mechanics as they become relevant. And we have these tiles here, which it's always good to jump on all of them, just in case something interesting might pop out. And come up here, and we have more slugs, and oh, only takes one hit to kill these guys, alright. And there was a star just there, and you get five stars, and you get a heart piece, a heart back. Of course, sometimes hearts dropped on them by themselves, too. And let's see, is it this one? Yes. Good way to open the door. I believe... 
There aren't any other stuff in here. And we have more rats. Lovely. Well, one thing I like is that you can change direction without actually moving in that direction. Helps keeps things... Well, it's less complicated, I guess. Just... And also, you don't have to space out your jumps, because if there's a place to jump to, as long as it's only like a distance of two spaces or, or less, then you'll jump there. But if you... If it's too far, or if there's nothing to jump to, you'll just jump one space, fall into the water, and instantly drown. And, okay. Got more rats, more slugs. Eh. There we go. Oh, there's a heart. Not that I really need it, but... Eh, oh my, a lot of tiles in here. That one opens that door, and that one opens that door, but you do not want to go in either one because there's nothing to be had, and you'll just have to fight your way back into this room. Instead, what you want to do is come over here, or was it this one? Yes, it was that one. And open the third path. Come on, thank you. And there we have a treasure chest. And is it this one? Yes, there we go. And we have a new weapon, the torch. And if you hit select, you can switch between weapons. Or if you pause the game, you can just use the directionals. And by hitting up and down, you'll, you can switch between magic items, which we don't have any just yet. But goodness knows, we'll be seeing a bunch of them over the course of this game. And oh, now we have freaking bats like you lovely Gives it. and come on there we go and, and music switch and things well it seems like things are getting more serious and there's open that door and oh, more torches but we're not gonna go up that way just yet because there's another switch to open the door over this way. And we have a treasure room with a magic potion. And that's an example of a magic item. And if you use that, you'll refill your, your life. And that's a very good thing to have in a pinch. And there we have another one. But there is another switch that'll open a, another door. But you do not want to go up there. Because it's a death trap. Quite literally. It's nothing but water. And there's no way out. So. And more stupid snakes. And open that door. And more bats, more snakes. Yep, and the snakes will just stay there until you come within their line of vision, and then they'll just start coming at you. And oop, oh, here we go. The, the boss of this place, the uh, sea snake, I think it's called. And I'm sure the pun is quite intentional. And what you have to do is that you have to basically fire in its open mouth. And if you don't have any of the torches, you'll have to jump up, uh, jump up to that place, uh, which can be kind of dangerous. Oh wow, this is working out quite well. Oh dang, okay. <laughs> Of course, it's quite easy if you know what you're doing. And well, we've rendered him down to a skeleton. All right. And just jump on the switch. And there's the exit. Very good. And we get points for it. 
I don't know what the points mean, I don't know how many points you get for doing what, and frankly I tend to ignore it. Alright, so what was... what's over here? Uh, so it was Dr. J's laboratory? Oh, and who's this guy? Ah, oh, Babu! Alright. You know, Dr. J has a submarine called Sub-C. The ID code to start the engine of Sub-C is 1492. Hey, an ID code as an inventory item. Let's see, I wish I could tell you more. I'm afraid of, 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 of. Oh boy, just had to leave things unsaid, huh? Hmm, nice place. Ah, the navigational computer, Navcom. All right, Input inputting. All ahead, full. And that's the end of chapter one. So come in, come by next time, and I'll we'll get going with chapter two. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.